So I've got a uh, rather large panel antenna on the bench for us to take a look at today and uh, this is a 10.8 uh, dBi of gain panel antenna. It was used in a test setup here in the UK at a uh, university so uh, some students there had set up their own little uh, network and uh, they were testing uh, throughput, uh, gain, things like that. And uh, this ended up in the skip and uh, it was sent to me by a subscriber and uh, it should be an interesting thing for us to take a look at. It is made by a Canadian company called uh, Superpass and uh, when I first googled this, the first couple of pages of Google talked about a uh, fuel savings card in Canada but I managed to find the company that makes this and uh, I'll put a link in the description and apparently this antenna when it was new cost uh, 119 canadian dollars now uh, as i say the uh, subscriber found this in a skip and uh, sent it for us to uh, take a look at so it should be uh, an interesting uh, little antenna its uh, frequency of operation is pretty narrow it's uh, 900 and 2 megahertz to 928 megahertz so it's not a wideband antenna it's uh, horizontally uh, polarized so it's, it's uh, not dual vertical and horizontal it's just uh, horizontally polarized which kind of makes sense in uh, a uh, setup like this would be used you just want all your energy going into uh, one uh, plane and picked up by an antenna on the other end in that same plane there's no point wasting uh, the energy having it uh, in the vertical as well if you don't need to but uh, it's uh, classed as a sector antenna um, according to the uh, website of the company that makes this so I'm not sure what we're going to find on the inside of here but uh, probably instead of one large uh, element it's probably got several elements stacked up uh, a little bit like we've seen sector antennas in the past on this channel but um, this is uh, the way it's made uh, just looks uh, to me to be uh, not uh, you know quality manufactured I mean the case in here looks a little bit rough around the edges uh, it looks like something that I would vacuum for myself to be honest with you uh, the backing just looks as if it's glued on here uh, for the money that the company is charging for this it doesn't look like you know uh, any kind of real quality but uh, before we take it apart and have a look on the inside let's pop over to the test bench and have a look at uh, its frequency on the network analyzer so here is the uh, panel antenna on the uh, test bench then and it's looking pretty much spot on on the network analyzer so let's take a look at the output so here it is on the network analyzer then we're scanning from uh, 400 megahertz here to 1500 megahertz over here and we can see this lovely dip spot on there 902 megahertz to 928 megahertz exactly where the claim frequency is we can see there 92 we can go up and there we are at 928 megahertz so as I said I was unsure about this normally a panel antenna can be a little bit wider but this is extremely narrow in its frequency of operation so I'm really interested to see what's on the inside of this one but uh, definitely works at the claim frequency 902 megahertz to 928 megahertz so I managed to uh, get into this and I uh, have uh, you know destroyed the uh, case in doing that doing that it's got this really horrible yellow glue on here it's uh, quite hard as well it's not like an evo stick type uh, rubbery glue it's more like a, a cross between a brittle epoxy you can see the uh, back reflector here it's one millimeter thick uh, aluminium it's not grounded in any way to the uh, rest of the antenna and here we've got a uh, dipole uh, style uh, main driven element to this you know, you've got your two uh, lobes here and here uh, remember it's uh, horizontally polarized this antenna um, but it's rather weird because it's all shorted out this is the uh, outer part of the end connector here and uh, if I uh, 
again with the inner pin this is also grounded out so yeah I haven't seen anything like this before really not shorted out in this way but uh, maybe we'll see something when we uh, get this out uh, PCB out it's held in by some of that uh, nasty glue again but uh, the construction of this you know it's certainly made uh, by hand uh, this is all hand soldering here um, I'm not sure what the conversion rate for uh, 119 uh, Canadian dollars is to uh, pounds sterling but uh, yeah it's uh, it's you know, it's a little bit shoddy for the money to be perfectly honest with you uh, it does look like something that would be a uh, prototype and not a uh, finished antenna but uh, yeah they, they sell these on their website uh, let me uh, see if we can get this PCB out and take a closer look at its construction now I did have to take this over to the uh, bandsaw as you can see just to uh, pry the uh, driven element uh, PCB off here but uh, I'm trying to remove this end connector and they've even put this yellow horrible glue around here so obviously they don't want you taking this apart so now that we've got it out of its case and we can take a closer look at it um, it looks uh, on the face of it pretty simple but it uh, kind of reminds me of a bi-quad element even in the way that it's fed with this shorter design this is the uh, center part of the coax being fed in here along uh, this transmission line here to the main uh, elements of the uh, antenna um, this will all be to keep it at 50 ohms including this uh, bigger square here along here so that will be able to match it to a 50 ohm impedance and we've got the same uh, almost on the back here with the ground this is the ground uh, soldered on here we've got this big square here um, and it's uh, soldered on with plenty of solder there definitely been uh, hand soldered and then we've got the uh, little uh, strip line transmission line here again with that uh, square rectangle there um, we'll be keeping it at, at 50 ohms to match the impedance but uh, just the way it's fed and just the way that it looks it, it looks to me like a uh, single element bi quad antenna and uh, it probably works in a similar sort of way i mean it comes in here and then uh, opens up to these uh, two main pieces of copper here and uh, this is um, 10.8 dbi of gain i've got no reason to uh, dispute that i mean uh, superpass does seem to be a uh, a genuine company in uh, canada and they've got the logo on there as well don't know whether they've uh, developed this as an antenna by themselves or They've just bought the rights to use it as the uh, paint and you know sometimes that is the case and uh, they've just bought the rights to use it and they're manufacturing it rather than uh, going through all the uh, design process of it but yes it's very simple but uh, it's kind of interesting as well now i have made uh, a copy of the artwork if you want to uh, download this yourself yeah i need some new toner in my uh, printer but uh, the artwork is here I haven't put measurements on this you can do that yourself uh, basically uh, you've got a scale here and as long as that uh, measures uh, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters you've got your scale set uh, correct on your printer so you can take the measurements directly off this sheet if you want to or use it as artwork if you want to have a go at uh, etching one of these out yourself um, I think it might be interesting in the future if we're, we can scale this to uh, different frequencies I mean uh, should be no reason why we can't scale this uh, to work at say 2.4 gigahertz or even 1800 megahertz or 2.2 gigahertz uh, should be no reason why we can't do that at all but uh, yeah very interesting and uh, simple design but uh, it is 10.8 uh, 10 dB of gain so I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video, just uh, another quick video, I'm trying to make um, videos like this a little bit shorter uh, than I did in the past and uh, possibly come back to them in a little bit more detail in a future follow up video but certainly I do like the design, it can be uh, scalable I am sure. So if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up, if you know anything about the company please let us know in the uh, comments below, any comments or questions 
I will do my best to answer them and hopefully you'll join me on the next one.